I love being at the University of Virginia. I love it for the same reasons now as I did when I was interviewing. I like our really collegial culture. I like our focus on high impact research. And I like the way we focus on mentoring our graduate students to be successful. We have this great building, Rice Hall. It's only a few years old. It's full of natural light. It's got great spaces for the students to work in. I also like the way it's a comprehensive university. We have everything from a school of law to a school of medicine. And I think that's something we can draw on in ways that other universities can't. On a related note, we also recently created a data science institute to help stitch all these units together around the, the interdisciplinary questions that come up on data science. In conjunction with all this, the university is really putting a lot of new investment into research. We have, for example, this new strategic investment fund. It's an endowment that's kicking off for the university $100 million a year for us to invest in research. And that's something almost no university in the country has at that magnitude. That's an incredible opportunity for us, and we've already gotten some funding. So my research area is machine learning and natural language processing. And the goal is to build an intelligent system that can understand human language and extract knowledge from the text. I collaborate with many people in several areas. I collaborate with a statistician because a lot of machine learning and natural language processing methods are built on statistical methods. If you want to process a large amount of the data, you need an efficient algorithm and efficient system. So I also collaborate with software engineering people and theory people. I work in software engineering area research. So basically I look at the code and see whether the quality of the code how to make it better, uh, how you can automatically detect bugs, fix it, things like that. I do collaborate with people uh, because software is so pervasive nowadays, every aspect of our life needs software. So I can collaborate with any, uh, any other discipline where they need rigorous, reliable software and try to help them better. My area of research is cloud computing. I'm particularly interested in enabling scientific applications that use the public cloud, such as Amazon, Azure, and Google. These public clouds are really taking over the business computing. There's a lot there for science, but there's a lot of missing pieces that we're helping to identify. We're building new approaches and technologies to fill these gaps. I work in computer vision, which is about teaching computers how to recognize objects or actions from images or videos, especially from uh, images that are on the web or images uh, that are taken from wearable devices. I use a lot of insights from computational linguistics and human perception to guide uh, what are the things that people uh, describe in images and video. I do research with Camille Whitehouse. My research is about cyber physical systems, so it's looking at embedding computation into the environment and allowing us to do sensing and control to help with things like saving energy and helping with health um, and different aspects of how we exist within our environment. One problem in particular is looking at actually tracking people within building environments so we can't run GPS indoors. So how do we figure out where people are located such that we can then start controlling their environment based on where they are. What I like about being a graduate student is uh, working on new problems and figuring out new ways to solve them. So looking at what problems we have and how do we use computation in order to do that and how do we push research forward in terms of those problems. What I like most about UVACS is working with all the people here and collaborating with different people in my lab and talking to people outside of my lab about the research and work that they are doing. My research is about the uh, non-functional properties of software, which are the properties that aren't whether it gets the right answer, but more how long does it take or how much uh, energy does it take. I really enjoy the, uh, the open atmosphere that we have, people coming in and out of uh, labs and talking to each other and, and being able to bounce ideas off of people, just meeting them randomly in the hall or in the stairwell. Yeah, I'm working with Professor Hengshen. My research focus is on the data center and uh, mainly about the uh, data center congestion control. 
when you want to avoid the congestions in the data centers. What does a UVA grad student do on a typical day? On a typical day, you mean uh, every day? I already came at 8.30. I wake up. I eat breakfast. Because I am a TA now, I may have some office hour or great homework, and then I just do some research project. Yeah, I will meet with my uh, with Professor Chang on Thursday. Well, we have uh, weekly meetings with my advisors, so we can easily schedule what are the steps that we can we want to do in the research. I go to operating systems, which meets Tuesdays and Thursdays. Then I read some research papers and I'll uh, try try to move on with the project I'm doing. Then read research papers. I'm almost finishing writing my next paper. I meet with my professor uh, once a week in the month, Wednesday morning. Yeah, I will eat dinner here at school. I'm very excited to start again tomorrow. We put in a proposal to the provost office for a cluster hire in the intersection of cloud-scale systems and really large-scale data analytics that, that can only be done uh, by making advances in the underlying systems to support them. So in conjunction with other schools that, that do these kinds of large-scale data analytics, we've already hired one person in cloud systems and we expect to be doing further hiring. And, uh, and this has been supported by the provost's office as, as part of its uh, strategic investments in research. That's just one example of all of the exciting things that are happening here across multiple levels of the university.